Hello, hello, grade 11s. Welcome back to the channel, Science Therapy, hosted by the one and only science therapist, O Abuti Wasos, O Gobela Wemet. And without any further ado, let's look at these questions that we have here. Okay, so question 10 says three resistors of resistance, three ohm. 4 ohm and 6 ohm and a bulb are connected in a in a circuit as shown below initially all the switches s1 s2 and s3 are open the internal resistance of the battery and the resistance of the connecting wires may be ignored and then now they're saying state ohm's law right and then how do we state ohm's law uh, states that the potential difference across the conductor is directly proportional to the current in the conductor at constant temperature, right? Then, okay, now we are told that switch S1 is now closed and the voltmeter and ammeter readings are recorded. And again, the voltmeter and ammeter readings when both switch S1 and S2 are closed are then recorded. And again, the readings when all three switches S1, S2 and S3 are closed and then recorded as well then uh, the results obtained are shown in the table below so you can get uh, the whole thing that they did here so close s1 and then they record the ammeter reading and the four meter reading close s1 and s2 ammeter reading four meter reading close all of them ammeter reading four meter reading right but then i want you to know that the four meter here is connected uh, in parallel to the bulb so that means the four meter reading is showing us the voltage uh, that flows through the bulb on the bulb right so it is not telling us about the voltage of the or, or of the parallel branch here right it is reporting to us about the voltage on the bulb right so let's not be confused but then the ammeter reading there we know that as long as it is connected uh, closer to the battery here it is recording the total current so this one is recording the total current but this one is recording the voltage only of the bulb then 10.2 says explain the increase in ammeter reading as more switches are closed now what we are, we are what we are noting here is that when we look at our ammeter reading when only s1 s1 was closed we had 2.4 mps but then now when we close s1 and s2 we had three then when we closed s1 s2 and s3 we now had 3.6 mps so the ammeter reading kept on increasing that means the 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 current kept on increasing remember ammeter measures the current so now we want to explain that how do we explain that say 10.2 the more we are closing the switches remember we are adding uh, more resistors into the parallel branch right so we say uh, more more resistors more resistors more resistors are connected in parallel more resistors are connected in parallel and then if more resistors are connected in parallel what does this do it decreases so it decreases the effective resistance remember with more resistors that are connected in parallel we say the effective resistance of the circuit decreases all that happens because of this formula that we have uh, for for parallel resistors so the more we put in the numbers there the more we put in the resistors what we notice is that our rp becomes lower and lower so that affects our effective resistance of the circuit because now when we get to add that smaller number with this uh, resistance up here then we end up having a lower resistance so it decreases the effective resistance of the circuit But then if the effective resistance of the circuit decreases, we know that this increases the current, thus increasing the current. According to which relationship? According to the relationship, R is inversely proportional to current. So we know that with a decrease in effective resistance, we will have an increase in current. So if the if the current increases obviously our ammeter reading kicks on a higher reading right that's how you are supposed to answer that question for only two marks so i think i only have 
okay this is about two points because this is just a conclusion so more resistors are connected in parallel and then this decreases the effective resistance which is increasing the current according to the relationship right then uh 10.3 says calculate a uh, 10.3.1 the resistance of the bulb and let's look at our marks we have three marks now already i've spoken about this that whenever you say three mark question in physical sciences this only means that you have to write the formula substitute into the formula and get the correct answer so we know the formula that we deal with uh, in electric circuits for ohm's law is r is equals to v over i and then since we are given the four meter reading and the ammeter reading we know that we can easily calculate our resistance like that and then okay to get the resistance of the bulb we can simply say um here you can just use any scenario when s1 when it's only s1 that is a uh, closed or when both s1 and s2 are closed or when all of them are closed so you will you will just get the same answer from doing all that so if we are to take this one uh, 4.8 divided by 2.4 then that's going to give you two ohms right remember we are we are taking the volmeter reading because we want uh, the resistance of the bulb so we can say let's take the volmeter reading here and then let's take the ammeter reading but why are we taking the ammeter reading the ammeter reading remember we said this ammeter reading here is reading the total current but how does the total current relate to the current that flows in the bulb remember the total current that flows in the circuit will be equivalent to the current that flows in the series uh, branch right so the i total is equal to the i series note that so which is why we are able to take the voltage in the series and then versus uh, the current that flows in the whole circuit because we know the current that flows in the whole circuit is the same current that will flow in the series part of the circuit right and then just like that you have calculated now if you are thomas from the bible and you want to uh, prove that all of this can give you two ohms you can go ahead uh, six divided by three that's still two ohms right then even if you were to do it with the last part of it then you can simply say uh, 7.2 divided by 3.6 as long as you are taking the voltmeter reading with its corresponding ammeter reading then you are supposed to get the same answer so there you go you are proven then uh, that's correct then 10.3.2 says calculate the potential difference of the bit now this is four marks so we have to be a bit careful with this one that means it's a bit extra so with the four mark now we want to calculate the potential difference of the bit remember the four meter reading that we are given here it it's only applicable to the series part to the bulb right but then if we want the potential difference of the battery that's the total voltage so that's the voltage of this part here and the voltage of that part there right so now what are we going to do we can uh, we can calculate this one by simply saying let's assume so for the sake of uh, all of us understanding the question let's just assume that now we've closed all the switches s1 s2 and s3 we've closed everything right so when we've closed everything let's now try to calculate the effective resistance of uh, the parallel branch so we're going to say for 10.3.2 let's first start by calculating the resistance in the parallel so which will be 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 since we have three resistors connected in parallel so that's 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4 now this is 1 over rp do not forget but then when we press this into our calculator the value that we get is three over four now a lot of you make the mistake of just leaving your answer like that right remember we are trying to get rp not one over rp so what you're supposed to do after getting this value here is that you will try to flip these ones over here so flip your your denominator to a numerator and your numerator to a denominator and then obviously this will uh, flip this one to rp over one which is just rp over one is rp so that will be the value that we are looking for so that's four over three which will just give you a uh, if you punch that it's 1.33 ohms rounded off to two decimal places right then um 
And now that we have our RP like that, so we can then calculate the total resistance by saying the total resistance, remember, is RP plus RS, right? So you you also have to note this one. To calculate the effective resistance of uh, the whole circuit, you have to remember the resistance of the parallel plus the resistance of the series. So resistance of the parallel is 1.33, like, but resistance of the series is the one we calculated in 10.3.1, which is the one for the bulb. Uh, it was 2 ohms, right? So that plus 2 is equals to 3.33 ohms. So now we have the total resistance. And then remember here, we have the total current when all three sw switches are closed, which is 3.6 amperes, right? Remember, how do we know that uh, from just closing the switches here? We know that the, the I total is equal to the I series, but then it is also equal to the I parallel, right? So when we add all the currents in here, they, they should sum up to this 3.6 MPS because remember in parallel branch, the current is divided amongst the resistance. But then when you when you add all those currents in each and every individual resistor there, it should give you the current in there. All right, so how are we going to use that to calculate our potential difference? There we go. We're going to say V is equal to I total uh, multiplied by the R total. So we are obviously getting the V total by doing that. So our I total, that's 3.6 when all three switches are closed. And then our R total is the one that we just calculated here, 3.33. Now, when we multiply this one, this is going to give us 12 volts, right? So 12 volts, that's our solution. And then uh, there's uh, the voltmeter reading there of the battery, right? Then let's proceed. Let's proceed. Um, 10.4 says uh, define power. What is power? So we say power is the rate at which work is done or energy is dissipated or energy is dissipated. The word dissipated means transferred. So you can also say uh, power is the rate at which work is done or energy is transferred. That one is also acceptable. So dissipated is more of um, flexing with the full cap. <laughs> <laughs> then 10.5 uh, says calculate the power dissipated in the 6 ohm resistor when only switches S1 and S2 are closed. So pay attention to that one. So for 10.5, they're only saying when um, when, when only S1 and S2 are closed. So we want to calculate uh, the what you call the power in the 6 ohm resist. So note that if only S1 and S2 are closed, this one does not exist, right? So that means we only have these two here being connected in parallel. Right, so we are only going to focus on this block here for S1 and S2. So our eyes are on this block. Now we know that uh, the power, power is just it is simply uh, when we take uh, our, we have our formula says V times I. So we have three options there to use. And then we also have I squared uh, times R. And then we also have P is equals to V squared over R. Now, obviously, your choice of formula here will depend on uh, what information are you given clearly, right? Then if we are to calculate the 6 ohm resistor here, the power in the 6 ohm resistor, what we clearly uh, are given here is uh, number one. So remember here, they said the four meter reading is what? Is uh, six, uh, is six, 6 volts, right? So if S1 and S2 are closed, then what we understand here is that this one is 12 volts. Remember, this does not change. This is the EMF, right? Whether it's only S1 that is closed, the EMF always reads that. So what we are going to check now, remember this one we did calculate and then we found that uh, it's 6 volts. Remember, the 4 meter reading is 6 volts and we said the 4 meter reading is the one that is reading the bulb, right? So that means we do not have the four meter reading of the parallel branch. We have 12 volts here, we have six volts. But what we do know is that the V 
total is equals to the v parallel plus the v series right so the total the total voltage is 12 we don't have the voltage in the parallel part of the circuit but then we do have the voltage in the series part of the circuit which at this point when only s1 and s2 are closed we find that it is six volts so that's six now to find the 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 the, the voltage in the parallel we only need to say 12 minus what minus six right so that vp is equals to what is equals to six volts as well so i want you to see that the six volts that i'm using is not this one right the six volts i'm using it's from saying 12 minus six the six from the series right so that's so had they said when s2 s1 s2 and s3 are closed then i would have uh, needed to say 12 minus 7.2 so that i get the voltage in the parallel so that's what i want you to understand with this question the six that i used is not from here the six that i used i got it from 12 minus six the one that is in the series and then now that i have this i can now say i have the voltage and then i know the resistance of that uh, the resistance of that particular resistor because they just said calculate the power dissipated in the six ohm resist so by saying the power dissipated in the six ohm resistor that means uh, we have to use the six ohm resist now which is the which one is the suitable formula here we don't have the current so we we, we won't uh, try to deal with this one because we don't know the current that flows in the six ohm resist the current that we know is the one that flows here right we do know the current that flows overall in the 3 ohm and the 6 ohm resistor that's a uh, 3 amperes but then we don't know individually uh, the current that they have there so we will not try to go to that one so cancel everything with current because you don't know much about the current unless you try to calculate and then um here we have this one which is just straightforward we already calculated the the voltage in the parallel branch by saying 12 minus 6 and then we have the resistance is 6 so therefore we can go for this formula here that's p is equals to 6 square that's our voltage but then the, our resistance is also 6 so this one will give us 36 and then 36 divided by 6 it's still 6 so that's 6 watts right and then that's how we were supposed to calculate that one right so it was a good uh, former question there how will the brightness of the bulb be affected as more switches in the circuit are closed? How will the brightness be affected? Right, only increase, decrease, or remain the same. Now, this question is still a bit uh, similar to what we've been asked here, right? So 10.2 and 10.6 are quite a bit similar. Then what we are supposed to say there is that uh, it will increase, definitely increase, right? Uh, and then how do we explain that? You will remember that here we said that uh, in explaining why there was an increase in the ammeter reading, we said because uh, the effective resistance is becoming lower, therefore there will be an increase in resistance. And now if there's an increase in resistance, what you're supposed to do here in explaining that, so for 10.7, it says explain the answer to question 10.6. We know that uh, our P is directly proportional to i squared so according to this formula p is equals to i squared times r we know that p is a uh, directly proportional to i squared for a constant for a constant r right so if we maintain that our r will still be the same it's not changed then this is what will happen our p is directly proportional to i squared but since we said that uh, due to a decrease in the effective resistance due to the decrease in the effective resistance we know that the total current the total current of the circuit increases but since we have discovered that our p is directly proportional to i squared that means as the total current increases the power increases as well the power therefore will increase because if current increases then power 
increases as well. Now, if the power increases, that means the brightness increases. So remember, a more powered bulb will have more brightness. So brightness increases. Brightness increases. Right. So that's how you were just supposed to explain it. Due to a, a decrease in effective resistance, the total current of the uh, the total current of the circuit increases. That means the power therefore will increase and therefore brightness increases. Right. And that's how you were supposed to go about uh, answering this question. So it was a lucrative uh, 20 marks there. So make sure that you play the video as many times as possible and try to understand the approach that I took into answering this question. But with all that being said, please press the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed the lesson and then you found it helpful. And if you've been watching the videos and haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Please hit that subscribe button. But most importantly, please share the link with your friends and classmates so that they may also find assistance. Remember, do not be selfish. We are winning as a team.